Hey YouTube, Ben here. So uh, winter is quickly approaching and uh, perhaps in your area you might get blackouts. And for those of you who find themselves with no power and uh, didn't follow uh, IFG's recommendation and bought some of those, uh, bought some of those battery powered uh, air pumps, I'm going to share a tip with you that I stole from uh, Ciclidos de Puerto Rico, Cichlids of Puerto Rico, which is available here on YouTube, and uh, it was done in Spanish. So I'm going to go ahead and give you an English version of it with a shout out to the YouTube station Cichlids of Puerto Rico and, um, and also, of course, to Evan Alexander IFG for his recommendation. And I think this tip is going to blow your mind because it's very cool. And uh, <clears throat> at the end of the video, I'll give you a little update on uh, and how we're doing on that uh, 1 million subs giveaway. All right. OK, stay tuned. Now, certainly uh, IFG's recommendation to get the Marina air pumps, battery powered air pumps, is the uh, better way to go, I think. But even if you had those, you could conceivably have uh, dead batteries. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, so this might come in handy regardless. So what do you need? You need, uh, you need a potato, just a basic old, your standard old russet potato, uh, water bottle, Uh, some airline and a stone, some of your uh, basic hydrogen peroxide, and uh, you know something that you can use to uh, to punch a hole, to cut a potato and punch a hole. In my case, uh, a hammer, a screwdriver, a knife, and uh, a little cutting board here. And uh, I'll show you what we do. Punch a little hole. Uh, punch a little hole in that bottle. Not too big. Just big enough to be able to push through some airline. Next, I suggest you push the uh, hose through the lid, through the cap of the plastic bottle. It should be hard to push through, rather difficult to push through. That way, you know you have a seal. You know it's pretty sealed. Okay, you'll see why that's important in a second. You can already imagine why. Now cut some uh, potato slices so they're thin enough to fit into the bottle, into the plastic bottle, and also cut them in a way that you're getting a lot of surface area. The more potato surface area you have, the better. And uh, you'll see why in a minute, because what we're dealing with here is going to be uh, straight oxygen uh, production through oxidation. Okay, I've got the potatoes inside of the bottle potato slices inside the bottle. Now I'm going to pour um, I'm going to pour some uh, some of this hydrogen peroxide up to um, the top of the potato of the level of potatoes that I have. I've poured in the uh, hydrogen peroxide. You can see what's going on. Oxygen is it oxidizing. Okay, it's oxidizing the potatoes and kicking off as a byproduct oxygen. Okay? We put the top back on the bottle as the oxygen, oxygenization is occurring. All right, we've got our air stone. Let's see what happens here. We have oxygen. You can make two or three of these bottles, dip the airlines into your tank in a complete power failure. And if you don't have the uh, marina pumps, marina battery powered pumps, or if your batteries are, are low, this will create surface tension breakup, which for those of you who saw my last video know how important that is to me. And it'll, it'll uh, create some oxygen for your tank, as you can see. So how's that for a hack?
hopefully that'll come in handy for you and uh, you'll find it helpful. And I thought, I thought it was an interesting tip. Now, um, regarding the 1 million subs uh, giveaway, um, I'll add some uh, details below, but uh, we are getting some entries. Some entries are occurring, and I thank you folks that have entered the, entered the giveaway. And uh, I'm certainly hoping we'll get a lot more entries. So, um, and that drawing uh, will be on the 20th of September, and uh, I'll be giving away some um, a nice big uh, container of, uh, of KG Tropical's new fish food product which is full of uh, great, great ingredients. And um, I think your, 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 fish, uh, your fish might love this stuff, okay? So uh, uh, throw your hat in, uh, you know, throw your hat in the, in the contest and, uh, and, and uh, we'll go from there. I'll put some details below. Also, I'll put a link below to uh, Cichlids of Puerto Rico, their original Spanish version of this, uh, of this tip. And also, uh, I'll put also a link to IFG's recent video on the Marina battery-powered pumps, which... Uh, are, uh, are are pretty awesome and uh, and uh, you guys should definitely have some of those uh, laying around okay all right so that's it for now I really appreciate and thank you guys for uh, tuning in and uh, that's all for now so let's end off with a um, with a look at the fish since that is what this is all about <laughs>